This is question number 10. It says the diagram shows the floor of a village hall. The caretaker needs to polish the floor. One tin of polish normally costs £19. One tin of polish covers 12 metres squared of floor. There's a discount of 30% off the cost of polish. The caretaker has £130. Has the caretaker got enough money to buy the polish for the floor? You must show your working. This is an asterisk question and it's worth five marks. What I'm going to do is split the area up and then start with the calculations. In terms of splitting the area up, you've got a few different choices. I'm simply going to run a line down here and draw two rectangles. I could have run across here, or I could have taken this area away from a larger rectangle. It's entirely up to you. So this rectangle is a nine by eight. So we've got nine times by eight, which is going to be 72 meters squared. This is 16, this is nine. So the missing length is going to be seven meters. We've got now seven times by six, and that's going to give us now 42 meters squared. So all I'm going to do is structure my answer. I'm going to say now that the total area, so just popping this down here, the total area, we're going to have now nine times by eight, which is going to give me the 72 meters squared. We're going to have seven times by six, which gives me the 42 meters squared. And that added together is going to be equal to 114 meters squared. Let's go ahead and look at the number of tins we need. So we're told a tin of polish here is 19 pounds and it covers 12 square meters. So now let's look at the number of tins. So number of tins, we could go ahead and divide 114 by 12. That's going to get a bit messy. I'm going to say now that 9 times by 12 is going to be equal to 108. We can say that 10 times by 12 is going to be equal to 120. I'm going to use the therefore symbol. Therefore, required or needs 10 tins. So I'm going to need 10 tins. So let's now look at the cost. So if we think about the cost now, we've got 10 tins at £19. So 10 times by 19 is going to give me £190. Let's now look at the discount. We have a 30% discount. So we can say 10%, let's work out 10% of 190 is going to be equal to £19. So if we multiply this by 3, 30% of 190 is going to be equal to £57. So if we look at the total, just jotting this down step by step, I'm going to have now £190 minus £57, and that's going to be equal to 100, and just jotting this down, £133. Therefore, my conclusion, and again, using therefore, not enough. So caretaker doesn't have em enough. Or we could say now something along the lines of he is three pounds short. Either way around, we need, I assume it's, uh, is it him or her? Not sure. Uh, three pounds short. Caretaker doesn't have enough. So caretaker doesn't have enough. So all I've done is structured it for five marks, show my calculations and just given a conclusion. So five marks for question number 10 and lots of different approaches that you could take.